levels? Four. Three. Oh, he's gonna two. move. Oh my god! He's One. gonna be flat! Gonna fl trying to lure the White King even further forward. I've got to say, commentator's curse. I said Magnus would play on, but he will be regretting that decision. Look at that White King. How is it going to survive? Yeah. Take that pawn now. The Black Rooks are going to mobilize with time. Oh, my God. We might see a checkmate in this game, I've got to say, guys. But he's got no White time. He's seconds. playing on seconds. He's playing every move with one second. It's a three-second increment. He's got four seconds on the clock. He made that last move with a second. Artemis. I don't like his last move. I was going to say material count. White is actually up. White has a bishop and knight for a rook. You're up one point. And uh, if one set of rooks disappear, suddenly there are no mating attacks against the white king. Suddenly white will be safe. So I'm expecting the white dark square bishop to move, or maybe the white knight will centralize and attack disappearing. And I was just saying, don't use the king as a weapon this early, but that white king may actually slide forward, and that black king might be the one that's checkmated. You have to be very, very careful here, because at some moment, that black king, there are many white minor pieces that can not looking easy at all. I do not envy Artemio's task. I think he's in huge trouble, but they're both in time trouble. Man, let's keep thinking. Because it's a tough position. Your h 2 pawn is hanging. You can't move your bishop. The rook is... Uh, you're going to end up trading rooks, which is great for black, but there's no way to really fight the trade. Uh, Robert, are you still picking Magnus for this one? Yeah, I am. I just think the time trouble is crazy, and you have two pieces to just the rook, right? So I think rook d2, maybe there will be simplification, uh, but I just feel like there's no way Magnus is going to lose this position. Either B2 falls or the H2 falls. Maybe you're gonna lose both, actually. Sheesh. It feels like the calm after the storm, though. Even if you lose both these white pawns, as long as you can kind of coordinate your minor pieces, I say if. It's a big if. But uh, the white king now will start centralizing. Look, that black king is nearly trapped, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have a rook or king or rook or queen to uh, mate that black king. But here we go. See? Whoa. Oh, oh, what fella, is this? What is that? Oh, he's about to take on. Uh, he's gonna take the other Yeah, he's, he's trading you he more. No oh, 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 is nice. It's time to go. And that's it. He's gonna resign! He's gonna resign! We're gonna win! The dub! That was surprising. Oh my he, god! He walked into a pin, and I told you, float like a butterfly, sting, sting like, like a, a bee. bee, and that one stings because Magnus wow. he him and had the white pieces to boot. That hurts. That hurts. And that is it. Magnus Carlson resigns after that blunder. 96, rook b6. That's a